Stunning scenery, lush landscapes and crystal clear seas, much of it unspoilt. This may not be the image many have of Iran, but it's one the country is keen to sell. With the lifting of Western economic sanctions, Iran is hoping to lure in tourists, even ones keen on skiing. It sent its biggest delegation yet to the world travel market in London. Syed Azam is from Iran, Dustan Tours. Iran is a four-season country. Anytime they like to come, we have a package, a special package for them. Tourists will need a visa, which isn't easy, but the government is working on that. It wants to quadruple the number of visitors to 20 million by 2025. Paul Nelson is from the World Travel Market. They're really ready to have those conversations with tour operators and hotel companies, really kind of bringing a delegation that's big enough to entice that level of investment. Iran will need to build a lot of new infrastructure, and that means attracting foreign investment. Pam Muir Gordon, Simon French. The problem for investors looking to, to play the uh, Iranian fledgling tourist industry is on uh, World Economic Forum rankings of competitiveness and openness for business. Iran has really struggled from being behind the wall of sanctions in recent years and hasn't opened up its capital markets, opened up its economy to, to investment. Iran made it onto the top destination list of several publications last year. It hopes to follow countries like Croatia and Vietnam. Both were once unlikely holiday hotspots.